Hey, this is Michael Wilson again. Uh, another review of motorcycle products for you. This one is for the first gear mesh style riding jacket. Uh, it features a wind and rain liner. Uh, it features some padding, not really armor, more of a, uh, a thin, dense padding in the shoulders, the forearms, elbow area, and then across the back area. Uh, it has a regular zipper front, just like any other one. Uh, also, it has an interior pocket in here. You can put things in. Uh, the fit is a little bit large. I normally wear an extra large, and this is an extra large, and it's a little bit uh, loose on me but not too bad of a fit. It's fairly regular. Uh, adjustments, it has uh, on either side of the waist Velcro adjustments to tighten the bottom. Uh, it has Velcro adjustments here at the wrist to tighten those up. The inside is uh, covered in a felt material, so it's very comfortable. Uh, the sleeves have Velcro adjustments, two per side, to tighten up the forearm and bicep area. Uh, I have found that the arms on these are very, very loose compared to the fit of the rest of the jacket. Uh, the padding moves very well. It doesn't get in the way. You really don't notice it's there, but again, it's uh, not padding that's or armor, so it has no certifications as far as safety. If you have an accident, uh, it's not going to do that much for you. Uh, being a mesh jacket, it breathes very well. Uh, it's great here in the Georgia, time, in the Georgia summertime uh, because the wind just goes right in through it, comes out the other side, keeps you very cool. Uh, the neck up here has the uh, felt lining as well. Very comfortable. It doesn't bother you at all. You don't really even notice it's there. Uh, let's see. It's got two pockets on the front here. And then the uh, zippers go up instead of down for whatever reason. Uh, but it does have some pockets here. Uh, the liner. The liner is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Uh, has a snap here at the top. Down at the bottom is two snaps, one on either side. There's a zipper on each side to zip it out. And then the, the real pain is the sleeves because the liner does go throughout the sleeves. Uh, at the bottom here, right before your uh, hands exit the sleeve, there's actually two snap buttons where the liner attaches to the outer shell. Uh, and they're staggered, so they're not side by side. One is uh, closer to the hand than the other. Uh, I suppose to keep the, uh, the inner liner from getting twisted when you're installing it. Uh, but it is very difficult to get that in there and get them put in the right place. But uh, once it's in there, obviously you don't have to worry with it. Uh, the back of the jacket has some piping going across here that is reflective. So when uh, headlights hit it at night, it will shine nice and bright. And here at the front, the uh, actual First Gear logo is also uh, reflective and will light up quite brightly when the lights hit it at night. Uh, it's a very basic jacket, retails for about 125 I've had it for six or seven years now. Uh, it's been a, been a pretty good jacket, it's comfortable, uh, made me feel a lot safer than riding around with a, a t-shirt on. Uh, but obviously it's not going to offer the same amount of protection as some higher end jackets and textiles and leather jackets. Uh, has some padding in the back as well, and again nothing, nothing major there. Uh, it's been pretty free from defects over the years that I've had it as well. I haven't had any trouble with it aside from uh, one of the snaps actually coming off the liner and having to affix it in a different manner, uh, but that's no big deal. It might have even been my fault for you know roughing it around too much when I was uninstalling it or installing it. Uh, but again, good jacket for the price. Uh, don't expect a lot of protection, um, but it will save your skin a little bit.